Okay, of course I can even uh, shut off device with power off. How can you um, reverse engineering uh, codes from your infrared uh, remote control using uh, Broadlink uh, infrared receiver and uh, then uh, reprodu reproducing that code uh, over your Xiaomi phones where infrared uh, beamer is available. Uh, Xiaomi's application is great. You have a uh, ton of, of, ton of uh, predefined codes for different devices, but if you need some custom device that's not currently supported, you can uh, recreate your own support for that device. Uh, there is a specially useful uh, tool for such thing, and this is uh, IR Remote Creator, uh, the tool that's already on uh, Google Play. Then you can use uh, to specify exact code that you want to use but first you need to find out that code uh, the, that's not the simple uh, there is no simple solution for finding the code and uh, you need to employ some reverse engineering but I will try to explain you how can you reverse it if you have some device like, like uh, cheap broadlink uh, infrared receiver uh, first step uh, we need to learn co code uh, my uh, Broadlink receiver is already connected to the Home Assistant, so I will use a Home Assistant uh, for to issue learn command. But if you don't have Home Assistant, you can use Python script for a similar procedure. The goal is to get Broadlink uh, form of learned code. An example of how you can uh, uh, learn code from your infrared, the device remote control is to issue learn command from Home Assistant and tell him to store the code inside the test mode button. For this example I will record record uh, mode button uh, code from my remote. So first step will be to call service for learning code and catching that code on the Broadlink device. After I click uh, call service I will go to the de Broadlink device, point to uh, RFID, uh, RF uh, remote control, uh, sorry, infrared remote control to it and issue the command so it can uh, catch exact code from that remote. If uh, code was correctly uh, uh, catched by Broadlink device, uh, I could, I can find it stored inside inside home assistant for home assistant example it's stored on uh, home assistant, assistant uh, directory then storage then file with the name of uh, broadlink device uh, that that one so if i look in the configuration file i can see it dynamically created configuration for for exactly that device device test uh, command mode and there it is a uh, command that it just recorded. For this moment I will just copy it to one new document because inside this base, base uh, 64 encoded string is actually a uh, code I need. But to decode it it's pretty, pretty, pretty tricky. Uh, to decode it, you need uh, one additional tool uh, called IRGIN. This is great project. Uh, I will uh, set a link in the uh, description of this video, where you can find the tool that's able to convert codes between uh, different standards, different formats. Uh, one of uh, example is ex exactly what I need. Uh, actually, not, not exactly, but. Uh, something that it is step in the right direction a uh, way to to convert uh, broadlink uh, format to appropriate more readable for, uh, format pronto format so that's exactly command i need uh, in order to use this tool you need first to download it and uh, compile it uh, it's new to compile the tool and make irgen available once you compile it and install, you will have Irgen uh, tool available. For first test, I will just copy example for Irgen 
uh, on GitHub and paste it to test does it work. And yeah, if I get a string like that, uh, the string, uh, hex encoded string, it means it works. Now I need to decode my exact recorded code. So I will replace the example with the uh, code I collected and repeat that message. And yeah, I have got um, hex decoded message using that tool. I will revert that back to the document so I can e uh, more, more easily reverse engineering which part of this code means what. For better understanding uh, how proto, uh, pro proto um, format works, I recommend you to visit a great source remotecentral.com which explains exactly how proto is working. You can see there a uh, detailed explanation of basic concepts of uh, remote uh, of reverse engineering um, infrared codes uh, so as uh, a few examples how did they uh, decoded proto code uh, our code part 2 is especially useful for our case as uh, i found that broadlink is uh, usually used for decoding a neck uh, IR receivers, so it's uh, usually the code that uh, code format you need. Uh, of course, first example is useful too, as you can see there uh, some f uh, some part of code. Uh, wha what do they use for? For example, uh, first bytes are usually zeros, exactly our case. Second byte is identification of uh, frequency and that is our carrier, carrier using uh, in our example 73 hex needs to be decoded into um, uh, into decimal format so first step is uh, by following uh, um, sample, uh, example uh, we should use data represented in the uh, example page for example 73 hexa is a uh, uh, 115 number we can use that number inside the formula to decode uh, frequency exact form formula for frequency is So we are getting there exactly uh, 36 megahertz. So this uh, code requires 36 megahertz for it to work. That's the first part to the code. After that, uh, we can see from example, uh, Third word is usually zeros, exactly our case two. Fourth word is repeated burst rate. It is how many pairs do we need? We also can skip it for now. Fifth and sixth word are also uh, preambular data. That's not something that's too much useful for us. So after that, we can start decoding the data. The data you can decode by comparing uh, uh, two groups of bytes and concluding uh, is there any huge difference in their um, numbers. For example, 13 and 14 are uh, pretty s uh, close numbers, so they are actually binary zero. We have the same situation here, also here, also here also here uh, 12 and 15 are also close 
here they are exact here close to we should group them in the groups of 8 bytes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 one more 8 after that we will, we will decode next group you can see here we have a huge difference in values uh, hex 13 then hex 3d that's the huge number we can decode it using ca calculator if we need but it's not necessary 3d in hex is uh, number 61 in decade uh, which is larger number so it should be 1 also for, with next pair we can decode it as 1 next pair also 1 1 again 1 again After decoding the 8 bits, uh, we can also again break the uh, array of codes and start decoding next array. And there we again see uh, two similar pairs, so it's 0, again 2. Here we see a difference between uh, uh, those two values, so it's 1. Here again similar pairs 0 different pairs 1 similar pair, uh, pairs 0 similar pairs 0 different pairs 1 again breaking groups and starting all over here is 1 then again 1 then again 0 then again 1 0, 1, 1, and 0. This last part is not significant, significant for us, it's just tail, just like our first part where it, there is a header. Part of header was important, like uh, frequency we need to use. So, uh, to understand the data, read real room read the documentation a little bit further uh, you can see especially if you look for IR code part 2 that format of uh, code is consisted of device code device code in complement the, that means uh, with reverse the zeros and ones function code code and function function code complement those complements uh, were added to ensure um, to prevent errors in uh, code transmission so if we try to read just binary code we can see it's 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 uh, for first byte second byte is actually exact complement 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 which is exactly what we expected so we can conclude that these two devices identify that device code is zero. For third byte, uh, it's zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one. Uh, also, it's complement one one zero one zero one one zero. We can quickly check and see this is complement, which is exactly what we expect. Now, uh, before we just read uh, which number is that, uh, we should do one more thing. Uh, because uh, this number is uh, uh, inverted, we need to revert it back. So, we need to read it from last digit to first digit. So, we need to reverse the order of bits. So, correct number is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, just switch reading from right to left and write it in that direction so final code is that which what number is that we can use this is number 148 
and this is function code. Now we have all data we need. We have uh, frequency it should be used, device code and function code. Once we decoded the code uh, of function we need, we enter to the app IRE mode creator and uh, uh, assign that code uh, to the some function. For example, I will uh, assign this code to the OK button. Go to the edit icon with the pen up there and click on OK button, then on higher um, option. There you need to choose a neck format and change the frequency to align with the option we have decoded. We have previously decoded the frequency of 36 kHz, so this is fine. 36 is the right option. And confirm OK. After that, uh, we should go into command option and enter the func uh, uh, function code that we have calculated. Uh, for this example, I will use uh, decad uh, format of the numbers, so I have calcul calculated 148 for this exam exact function, and of course you must select decade format to get, get this right. Confirm it with OK. Next, we need to set address, but in uh, my example address was uh, 0. So, just need to confirm that address is zero, of, co of course, decade, but zero is uh, the same uh, every format, and confer confirm it with OK. We don't need extended nor multiple repeats, so this should be just fine. So, now this is the uh, now we have entered the code and we can test it with test button in the top of the screen, of course. To correctly test it, we need to get close to the device, so IR Blaster can blast uh, the infrared uh, signal to the device. Uh, first, of course, you, you can confirm that that's working uh, by pointing device and clicking the button. And you can hear. Whenever I click the button on the screen, I'm getting a sound tone that's confirming my action. I can even back to the home screen and click OK for getting or changing the modes. OK, of course I can even uh, shut off device with power off. That's the code I have recorded earlier, so I know already that work. That is it. Thank you for watching.